NFTs represent a lot of different things within the metaverse. Beyond digital art, you're seeing NFTs that represent the digital land within these metaverses, the collectible items that exist. This avatar is an NFT. Now, avatar creators, you know, is the big business in Somnium already. Last year was the first year when we allowed people to upload and tokenize avatars through Solomon Space directly on Ethereum. And avatar creators earned net more than $500,000 by selling avatars to other users. If you think about a digital economy, just like you think about the traditional economy, you need marketplaces, you need financial centers, you need the ability to have those people within those economies transact. And what you're seeing with the metaverse is you're seeing marketplaces that have emerged, like OpenSea, for example, is a large marketplace that really caters to a lot of digital NFT items. OpenSea is anything and everything when it comes to ERC721 tokens, NFTs. I would argue artwork is like maybe 15% of OpenSea. I, as a user, can own a digital item in my wallet. And if I want to sell that to someone else, I could list that on a marketplace like OpenSea. Another party could come to Virtual World. They could go and they could say, I want to buy this NFT. They could see it listed, for example, it can go to one of these marketplaces and they could buy it from me there. 